Hey guys, Mr. Two Two Four here from Everything Dual with another video tutorial uh, on Mac or PC. It's the exact same thing. Uh, how to get Hamachi and how to use it with your bucket server or and or vanilla server. So uh, if you're port forwarded, then leave this video because there's no point unless you want to do it for another game because it does work for other games. This is pretty much a public thing to let other people connect. So the link will be in the description for this website. And you will go here. It says choose any mode. Managed is for businesses, which you will not pick. So you will pick the unmanaged. But can't click down now unless you go. You check this little tick at the bottom here, this little box. Now, if you're on Windows, you download the Windows version, obviously. And if you're on Mac, you just click download now. And then it will download. I don't need it because I already have it. I don't know why I just did that. So when you download it, you'll get this thing. Log me in how much you got it. So double click it, and it'll open up this thing you don't need this anymore so now you want to unarchive this package continue and now you got an installer so you can continue continue agree and then you can install it wherever you want and then finish now you if you can't find it on your desktop then uh, just go into your finder and type in Hamachi Oops. oh my god I'm failing right now Hamachi um, there we go, and double click it. Now, you can get this. It's probably gonna ask you for your name, uh, maybe even to create an account. I don't think so though. Uh, it's been a while since I got this one, and I can't re get it because I already have it. So we'll say your IP at the top here. Uh, offline, you just have to click the power button, and it's going to connect. If there's ever a problem, and things are, you could just turn it off and turn it back on. So uh, it will do all these things like probe it, synchronize it. See now it says my name. Uh, because, uh, uh, yeah, because it's mine. <coughs> Sorry. These are all uh, connections I'm into. You can't get into them because there are passwords with people's IPs and stuff. So uh, I'm not going to show you their IPs. But uh, so uh, now that you have this to have your actual to play with your friends, you want to go into network, create create a new network. PC is the same thing. There's a create new network. Network ID, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it uh, poo. I don't know, and then the password, you can make the password ASD. So, Pusas create. Now, I don't know why I just created that, but uh, it will, uh, it will, uh, if it's taken, it'll tell you it's taken, then you can't use it. Tell your friends the password, only the friends you want, and they'll be able to join. Once they join, here, if I create a new network, and I call it, da 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 and da 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 Created. I doubt anyone's taken that. So we got the mixnin server. Now, when you open it, it should uh, like on this one. When people connect, it'll show their name. When the computer's on, it'll be green. This little dot. So uh, when it's green, that means you got it right. If it's red, yours like these dots or people's red dots are red. Then you can turn it off and turn it back on, and it will usually say like, "Whoops, why did I delete that?" It'll usually say like resolving problem or resolving uh, stuff like that so once you have that that's it now you can on Mac you can just close it and it'll always be open no matter what so it'll be open for now don't quit it you'll shut down your computer whatever next time you get on it won't be open but it'll always be open I don't know how to explain that but the program will always always be online so as long as they're online and you're online then you uh, then they can connect even though it's not open literally open like this in your bar they do have to have Hamachi to connect to your Hamachi. That's pretty obvious, though. So, uh, yeah. So now you can just join into a server and use their IP, and everything should work fine. You have to use the IP that's up here, though. This is your IP for the server. That's what you type in to the IP if you did not put it forward. This is the numbers. Those are mine. Every computer has a different one, and uh, I don't think it changes, so uh, shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh. So that's it for this video. Just stay in a bit if you want to, because I'm, I'm just going to talk a bit about the channel and a few things. So I'm going to be making a plugins video for Craft Bucket, all about them and how to get them. Not a permissions ones, though. There's a big difference. I'll probably explain the difference. I started my Borderlands series, my Angry Birds series. You can see I have the Borderlands right here. I'm going to upload it sometime soon. Uh, 
zombie craft i might make more episodes and plants versus zombies i'm not sure i do not think so we do have a contest that's up on our channel if you don't know about it go check it out all you got it's really really easy and you can win some brick force codes if you guys haven't heard about that game check it out on youtube or google it's pretty cool it's like the new minecraft kind of thing except there's like capture the flag and and the ctf and there's guns and everything you know it, it's a lot of fun this is just the beta so we're giving out beta keys so that you're able to play into the beta right away without waiting uh, you will lose your progress like every other beta when it comes out, but you will get to play way earlier and it's a lot of fun and you get to like show off to your friends. So, uh, see you guys next time and, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe.